G'day. Hi. So, it's day 21 of my cleanse. It's the last day. So, um, I just want to, firstly, post a note, or not post a note, asterisk. Um, I just want to be completely honest with you in saying that, um, I like bad food. Um, I think it tastes delicious, mostly. Some of it tastes like shit, but you don't even realize because it's so packed full of sugar or whatever, but I like bad food. I really do like eating, but, um, what comes with that is, like, um, you know, a dull mind, health concerns firstly, and then a dull mind and dull body and, um, you know, tiredness and um, lethargy. Well, tiredness is lethargy, but all those sort of things. And I say this because I want to um, remember everything that I was feeling um, post-cleanse to remind myself, which is why I'm making these videos, so I can remember um, what, what, you know, like what it is that I'm feeling now and why I want to continue eating like this. Anyway, so, I, um, it's, yeah, as I said, the last day, I'm having my very last green smoothie. They weren't all green. Mm. This one's really good. It's got lots of, um, kiwi fruit in it. Um, it's quite a thicky rather than a smoothie. Um, but yeah, so I'm last day. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I do look a little bit like shit. That's because I have am fighting. I don't have um, a cold at work. I'm surrounded by a few sick people. Um, a young person that's got a virus or something and has just been sleeping, um, which of course gave me the fear um, that I was going to get sick. And I think it all coincided with uh, last week when I was when we were the, like week two, which is the main detox section of the um, of the cleanse. So I got a bit of a sore throat around day 16 I wrote it down because I knew I wouldn't remember um, and but then that sort of went away and then yesterday I was feeling a bit rough like um, a little bit achy in the old joints wrists and yeah um, was a bit like I wasn't my bouncy self uh, but I went and got some acupuncture and was feeling heaps better by night um, still not bouncing around but today I'm feeling a little more bouncy so that's good <laughs> I like to bounce uh, so yeah um, I think maybe I fought it off, whereas everyone else is getting a little bit worse. I don't normally get sick, so I think the reason that I did maybe get a little bit of it was because I was doing was in the midst of the detox bit, so my immunity and my energy and stuff was a bit further down than usually high levels. Not high, high levels, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so let's have a look at what I've written note-wise. Um, so I'm still... No cravings really, it's really all been in the mind, um, which is so odd. I really thought I'd crave sugar really bad. Uh, I thought that, um, you know, I thought it would be really hard. And it's been, the hardest it's been has been this last couple of days because I think it's, I know it's coming to an end. Um, last night at work, uh, we took the young people out for ice cream or gelato actually, delicious gelato over in Rosalie. And so I had four people sitting in a semicircle around me and I was just watching them eat and asking them about the flavors and what flavors they chose. And, but you know, um, it was okay. And I know I'm doing it for me. And, <laughs> um, yeah, it was hard. That was hard. But when I really thought about it, um, I wasn't salivating again for it. When I crave things in the the past I salivate but maybe I haven't this whole time I did really want it though um, and I have found most of my cravings same with the white bread still with the white bread I wish I'd never rediscovered white bread um, it's just a want it's not a need but it's funny wants like I saw a piece of I was um, at this event and um, there was a piece of burnt toast sitting in the ground that someone had thrown out from something not even our event and I, <laughs> I took a photo of it, sent it to my sister and went, is it wrong that I'm thinking about picking this up and eating it? Now, now I know that sounds ridiculous and no, I never would, but um, it, it just, it made me go, oh, I really just want to taste that. So I guess one of the hardest things is um, that my control over what I choose to eat has been taken away from this, um, this cleanse is like n controlling everything I eat, even though it's really good food. So it's been uh, interesting and... <laughs> So in that um, in that respect, you know, like I'm looking forward to tomorrow when I choose my own food, which, <laughs> funnily enough, I'm choosing to eat. I'm like doing a big shop, um, big cook up, and cooking up stuff that I've been eating on this cleanse. But at least it's my choice, even though it's my choice before. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, what else? So uh, 
Right, so on day nine, we had something called loaded sweet potato, which was a roast sweet potato with um, topped with, like, um, kale and, and ve- different, um, like, top- topping veggie things. Um, I will make a video and flash up all the photos I've been taking of the food. Um, but, yeah, so... And it, we had it for the... Di- normally, we'd have something for dinner, and then the next day, we'd have it for lunch. So for dinner was yum, and then the next day for lunch, um, I had it, and both me and my sister were comparing notes on how freaking sweet it was. It was like... Someone had coated this sweet potato in sugar. That's how sweet it was. And I've noticed a few foods are like quite, um, quite sweet, which I wouldn't have noticed before. And I'm assuming that's because um, of a cleansed palate. You know, like um, I haven't been eating sugar, so now my my um, taste buds are actually noticing what is actually sweet, which is not sugar involved, like f- refined sugars. You know what I mean? So. That's been really weird. I had a fig which wasn't on the diet. It was a sneaky fig because I bought some. I went shopping the other day for my cook-up for the weekend. Um, and I just had a little sneaky fig. But And it was so sweet. It was almost too sweet to eat. It almost tasted like I was eating hand, I'm like a spoonful of sugar. So weird. But very cool. Um, so what else? Um, there hasn't. There's not a whole lot to say. I wanted to... Um, Oh, yeah, so I'm still feeling, like, energy of the mind and energy of the body. Like, um, you know, like, I um, just have... Instead of putting things off, I just get up and do them. So, like, you know, I'll do my washing. Usually I bring my washing in, put it in the, my spare room, and then don't put it away until I need the basket again. Uh, now I just put it away. Or, you know, like, um, I just, you know, like, get home from work. Or, like, if I... You, I'm not... I don't know. I can't really explain it, but I'm just full of energy. I've, I've made plans. Like, within the first week, I'd made plans to travel overseas. So I bought my ticket to go to Bali to do a cleanse over there. Um, I'm, I'm trying to organise to go camping in Central Australia. Um, you know, like, I just... All of a sudden, this... Um, not... It wasn't like I was depressed. I didn't feel depressed. But my body... Maybe my body was depressed and sluggish and... And my mind was not clear and crisp and ready to go. It was like, everything was just like, mm, so I'd go home, do like go to the gym, um, say on a weekend if I wasn't working, I'd, you know, just, I don't know. No, I just, anyway, I've got, I've got the energy, I've got the energy. <laughs> um, and I was trying to talk about last time about the pressure that I felt, this great relief. And I really want to, it's like still awesome and I want to try and explain it better. So, you know, like, okay, so you're, you're out in the world um, by yourself, say, um, and you duck into coals because you need to get something for dinner, right? So for me, right now, um, now, I, for the other day, okay, for the other day, I had to go and get some um, almond butter, which is like peanut butter but made of almonds, right? So um, I had to just duck in and grab a, a bottle of that for one of the snacks. And there was, n- um, you know, that no... Oh, I'll just grab something else, a little snack, or I'll just grab some of these muffins that look amazing, or I'll just grab, like, a little bar of chocolate, you know? There's none of that. That that internal dialect, dialogue, that, um, that tells you, this going, oh, just get that, just get that, which I have a lot of. Um, it's chatty, especially my food dialogue. Um, was, it's nothing. I have simply just got to go in, get that almond butter, and go. Which which also saves me so much money, you know, like I've been saving heaps because I'm not spending money on just random things that I don't need that my head just thinks it wants um, because my stomach sure is held. It's like I've been listening to my um, jumping conversation now, but yeah, it's also about defining between head and stomach. So your head talks so much and it wants so much and it thinks it needs so much. But when you listen to your stomach, it doesn't really need that much at all, you know? Like, I'm not hungry. I don't need any of these things. And I wasn't craving chocolate or craving muffins, although they soft in the mm, moistness and mm, yum. Anyway, you know what I'm saying, hopefully a bit better than last time. So that's all I've got this time. Uh, my sister and I are going to make a, a little video when we're done, um, just maybe talking about our experience, maybe let you know how much it costs and stuff. But um, that's all I've really got today, just that it was awesome. And I'm simply on the last day. Uh, I made it. I wasn't sure if I was going to in the beginning, but, you know, there's been probably last night was the closest I came to accidentally nearly putting a piece of roast potato in my mouth that I just cooked just to test it. And then I went, oh, can't do that. It didn't get into my fingers. It was just a thought of just pick it up and pop. But, yeah, so I made it. Um, unless something ca- catastrophic happens tonight um, at work, which is barbecue night, so we should be sweet. Um, I did it. 21 days. They say it takes 21 days to take a habit. Change a habit, not take a habit. It takes one moment to take a habit. It takes 21 days to change a habit. 
and I am day 21. Got a few, few more meals to go and then tomorrow I'm a free man to do as I wish, to eat as I wish, and I plan to do this still. So I'll talk to you all soon. Take it easy. Stay safe. Peace out.